You Don't Know Me is about a young man who is standing trial. I can see I'm going to prison for murder. He's trying to convince a court that he didn't commit the murder. But the truth is that I'm innocent. I did not kill that boy. At the heart of it is, is really just this guy that falls in love with, with a girl. And she just happens to be in some pretty, can I swear? There's just a lot, a lot of obstacles that would turn any rational human away from that person. But for Hero, it's almost like he wants her more because of all this trauma and because of all this trouble. The story's about love in, in, in like a myriad of ways and how that manifests in whether that be romantic love or familial love and, you know, kind of the lengths you will go to for the people you love. Hero, when we meet him, is just this average guy kind of going through his life. He's a car salesman. It's kind of the job of his dreams, I guess. He's got his family, his mum and his sister, who he provides for as well as best as he can. He's got a flat, he's doing all right for himself. And then he kind of starts to go into it and the story unravels and everything gets turned upside down. Um, his whole world is like shaken. It's been 24 hours, Kai. Call me. So I can get a gun. I don't think he's ever the sort of person that we'd consider to be on trial for murder. She's a person who's had a very difficult life. I think of her as a bit of a lone wolf. And so I think over the course of, of the story, it's kind of beautiful you see her come out. I mean, you could be like a, like a professor. <laughs> you could do anything you wanted, really. And that is very much a product of her relationship with Hero. And I think he brings out a lot of beautiful qualities. <laughs> He's a tragedy, really, because the potential for him and I think the potential for so many others who are like him is so vast. But for various different reasons, opportunity is not as readily given to people like Jamil. Hero is pursuing and using his energy in ways which are legitimate, which are taxed. How much are you looking to spend? If our money's not a problem, do your job, innit? And Jamil is pursuing his endeavours in, in, in ways which are tax-free. I'm doing 120 rocks a day, boy. Kurt is a friendly giant. It's just been mixed up in the wrong crowd. And I think as a big guy, because I've experienced it myself, you're either targeted to be a part of a group or you are targeted by a group. Who are you? I'm Kurt. In Kurt's mind, if he's not getting an opportunity to do something in life that's well paid and legal, then he's got to look elsewhere. I, whenever I get into characters, I always think about song lyrics. And there's a Jay-Z bar, he says, I'm like a dog, I don't speak, but I understand. And I feel like that's how Bless is. She's not really a talker, she's very observant. I think she takes in the energy that's around her. You have to help her, obviously something's wrong. The bad stuff that's happening to Hero is really affecting her. Bless kind of sees Hero as a father figure. Don't be upset, it's gonna be okay. Life will throw so many curveballs at you, and it's about not running away from it or shying away from it. People feel like love is a straight line, but you don't know me kind of shows how it's a roundabout. I hope that people can watch it and not be afraid to unravel their own prejudgments. Women being treated a certain way because of their gender, different groups of people being treated differently because of the melanin in their skin. There are things that we all have to unravel.